uh, 3.6 and but we're gonna observe those things too so we're gonna make another right turn here as you can see and we have some uh, it says full self driving may be degraded because it is raining a little bit so we're gonna test it out how the car handles this situation so let's see so we're gonna try the whole thing how the car may failed to navigate here so i will show you all those things uh so hopefully you guys will enjoy this video make sure to subscribe to this channel because in this channel we're gonna talk about full self driving elon musk tesla robo taxi and stuff like that so finally i i didn't get the version let me tell you I didn't get the version. Elon probably don't like me, so he didn't send the version to me. But someone else got the version, and I'm happy to be tested the full self-driving. So he allowed me to use his car to, you know, test. So it is taking time. There is a white car coming from our left side. It was so far, but the car decided to stop. And it's still now, it can go. It can definitely go, but there is few cars on our left, but it is far. But our car decided to just stop here. And, you know, clear the whole thing on our left side, then make it, it's going to make the right turn. So it's good, you know, a little bit, of, little bit of cautious there. So let's see, we make that right turn perfectly. No problem. Just a little bit of extra time there. And it is raining, as you can all see through that interior and outdoor cameras. But we're going to test that definitely. Exactly on that same road where we always, always, always try. And sometimes in version 12.3.6, the car failed. Sometimes it didn't. So where exactly? This is stop sign. We need to move to the left lane where this is right now. We're in the right side lane. We have to move on that lane to follow the GPS because we're, we have to march. This is not kind of a left turn. This is a merging lane. So we have to move to that left lane and move another lane and then go straight a stop on the stop sign right over here. It is not. It's still changing the lane. We don't have any car on our left side. So let's see how the car handles. There is a car coming from our left, but it is far. We can now change at least. Yes, it is changing right now. It turned on its indicator. We need to change another lane and get into that. If you saw that white car, we need to get into that uh behind that car it didn't turn on its indicator but it changed the lane so this is the simple problem i want to show you guys it changed the lane but didn't turn on the indicator it didn't make any mistake it get in at the very last moment but it didn't turn on the indicator but didn't make any mistake which is a good thing but not turning on any indicator is a bad sign so we're going to stop here as our first destination will be over. And then we're going to get in. There is a car in our back. We'll see how the car handles this situation. So it is trying to make a left here. Now, let me, let me just. So we're going to go the first we're done. With the first one, people will be pissed probably. Now we're making this left. Sorry about that, guys. And now we are going to end this one too. And then we're going to go to our first and last stop. And then we're going to do some unprotected left. So where the car makes mistake, let me tell you. We're going to make a left. We have to make this left very slowly because this is a very narrow road, right? But what our car does sometimes is going super fast. It stays so close to the fence, but this time it did it perfectly without any problem. Very good there. Very, very good. Last time our car almost got blind because of the sun. There is no sun today. It's cloudy and almost hit this fence on the right side. And I took over. But this time it seems taking more space and almost driving in the middle of the road, which is the right thing to do if you're a you're driving in a narrow road, right guys? So, but the car is doing everything right today, seems like. It is a little bit of cautious today, but it is doing everything perfectly. Very, very good job there. So we'll make a right turn right over here, but we have to creep a little bit to see our left side and right side both. And then we can make this right turn. Our car seems like it could see that left side completely. That's why it didn't creep. But in a stop sign like this, we need to creep at least to look in the left side a little bit more. So it's again says full self-driving degraded because of the rain, definitely. 
So one more mistake it always makes is in this stop sign, we stop there. We have to definitely look on our left side, which is that lane where all the cars are passing, if you see here, right? And we have to look. If there is no car, we can proceed. And there is no car, we can proceed. But sometimes it also proceed when there is a car. So not sure about that too. And what we're going to do is making this right turn after this traffic light. It is doing everything so smoothly. I felt, I felt like the car is doing more smoothly and, you know, like driving more cautiously, which is good thing. Definitely. Uh, no major, you know, disengagement, no hard braking, nothing serious here, but we're going to make a right turn here, right over here. And we're going to end the trip here because I want to do some unprotected left. What I'm going to do is come in here one more time. So our car is going to do that. Yes, go. You can go right now. Yep. So we just change. It says pay attention to the road. Definitely. Very nice job. Why the blue thing is popping up? Because it shouldn't. If I'm looking in this uh, like straight, then the blue thing will not pop up. But now it's still popping up because... Sometimes I'm also looking on the screen. So the camera sees my eyes and it gives me warning in the screen that you need to pay attention on the road, not on the screen. But because I'm making this video, I have to change the destination here and there. And that's where it makes hard. And it is very narrow. As you can see, it is. One thing I noticed, like in this exact narrow situation, our car was doing a little bit of a speeding and then at the last moment doing hard braking and, you know, like adjusting the space. But in this version, I saw the car was very cautious. There is a car and it made that it is going now very slow, like 10 out of, out of like 25. It is narrow. I understand the car can it definitely drives in 15 and, you know, like adjust here and there situation like based on the speed like road uh condition and stuff like that so here we stayed almost blocking the other side of the road this is a two lane road definitely we can proceed there is no other car and we have to no you cannot go now don't go i'm i'm feeling it the car is deciding very slowly so it is now not going still the red it already red our car is not making right turn so not pretty sure what is doing having like we are having here so the car is still taking time now we can go i'm not going to press anything and the light just changed now you cannot go so that's the one thing you guys can already see the ride was completely red our car for some reason, probably the camera was blinded because of the raindrop. I have doubt on that, but now it's still stuck here. I'm going to press the acceleration a little bit to tell the car. And now it is doing it. Wow. That's the one thing. I press that acceleration, I understand. But this is very, very... Um, You should make that U-turn. You made it so many times. You were in the right truck. And then it decided not to do it. So I'm going to make a U-turn, but I have to look on, on my back. And now, very good job there. So what I'm going to explain right now. So I'm going to do one more time the same situation and we'll see. The car was completely stuck there for some reason. Probably raindrop, the camera can't see because of the rain and stuff like that. But what was happening after I pressed that acceleration, the car went in the right lane. Very good job there, right? But at the end, it decided to go so fast. There was no other car on the opposite side. The car can definitely take some time and make that U-turn. It did it with my car so many times. But the interesting part is it crossed all three lanes and make that right turn. This is what I was wanted from the beginning. My car couldn't do that. It immediately make that right turn, hesitate there, which lane I'm going to go, and then probably make mistake uh, missing so many times on that exact U-turn situation, went to the front, the next block, and make that U-turn. But this time, it passed three lanes, make that right turn could be very slow over there and then do that but our car decided to go a little fast and because of its speed it couldn't, couldn't control and then it made that mistake um definitely you guys will tell me this is not a mistake it's just it's just going to another route it can increase two minutes of your uh, you know driving time but for me Na navigating failing is a fail thing, right? So we're going to do one more time. I turn on the FSD right now. And because of the rain, definitely says full self-driving degraded. But we're going to try one more time. 
Let's see. So on this stop sign, we have to stop. We definitely have to keep some, some space on the left because there could another car could come, make a right turn, and they could have no space there. So our car is creeping. This is a red light. And our car is not going. This is the thing I'm just um, seeing it. Right now, you cannot because the light just changed. Wait there. Yes, be patient. Wait there. What I'm saying is we can go all the way. After this car, very good. Yeah, this time it did what? It just made that right turn over there, which I'm not a very big fan of because after this, we can definitely make that U-turn. So I'm gonna press that acceleration a little bit. I press that acceleration a little bit because there is a car behind us. I don't wanna take any risk and I'm gonna take over now so that I can do that one more time. Yeah. So that U-turn, there is a car coming very fast from our back and at that exact lane. So what I'm trying to do is the car, there is no other car coming from the opposite side. We can definitely, definitely, you know, make that U-turn on that time. But our car was just hesitating. Should I go? Should I not go? Or something like that, you know. So I'm going to turn on FSD one more time. We'll see how the car handles this third time. Um... Overall, it is doing everything very nicely. No problem about anything, but, you know, it is what it is, guys. We have to deal this. So let's just do one more time that exact situation. Let's see if the car can do this. I know so many people will also tell me, Anato, the car doesn't have that much of data to make a U-turn yet. So still the car make that right turn now moving very slow. It is a very fast road. So keep that in mind. This is not a slow road. So what we have to do, we have to do fast. So now there is no other car in our back. What I'm doing is it could just stay in the middle of that meridian, like just go a little far, stay in the middle and then make that U-turn. So this time the car can do it very, very intelligent there. Immediately proceed a little slow, definitely. Like if there is another car coming very fast and we can definitely, you know, like that that guy could be like pissed off. Like why you're going super slow. So let's see how the car handles this one. So we're almost here. So I'm going to make another U-turn and we'll see how the car handles this last time situation where we are going to try the last unprotected left and we'll see so we are making this left here and i still feel the car is taking so long time to make left right because as you all saw that we stopped on the stop sign our car creeps and then stuck there biggest problem i'm noticing in version 12.4.3 i guess very slow, very nicely done. Very, very good. In my version, version 12.3.6 was making this kind of narrow turn was very hesitating. Like the car was like, you know, coming like very fast. Then it brake hard and, you know, like stuff like that. But we are doing everything perfect here. The car seems very smooth. But the only mistake it is making, decision making is very slow. I would definitely prefer the car moves a little to the right side to make a space. On the left, there is no other car. Right now, cross it and make that U-turn where that car is. Yes, this is what I was expecting. The car will go there and make the U-turn from there, not from here. I know the GPS is saying you can make this U-turn, so I'm going to take over this time because there is a very fast car coming from our back. So I just took over to give a space. And I turn on, let's see if the car can make this U-turn from there, if there is no other car. Very, very nice job there. So we are still here, waiting, waiting, waiting. After this car, you are going to... Okay, it was trying. And then it saw like those cars are already like very close. So it decided to like, you know... Just stay here for a moment. Another one. It will be a little tough for the car, I guess, because the space is narrow, but the car did it without any problem. 
Wow. That's great. So what I will do is right now I'm gonna go um is it like my So we'll see how the car now. Yes, let's see how the car handles this U-turn. We can make a U-turn. We have to follow that car. We have to get into there and making that U-turn. Let's see. We have to wait for our opposite side to be cleared and then we can make this U-turn. Very nice. Wow. Immediately proceeding a little slow. Definitely. Still, if you if you saw that. Like this is a fast road. When we are we are making a U-turn, we're gonna do it fast because we don't wanna bother other people coming fast and have to break for us, right? But it is what it is, guys. Let me know in the comment what do you think about this drive. I feel like the car is still very cautious, very very cautious compared to version twelve point three point six. While making left turn, right turn, it takes more time. And it did it one time that U-turn situation, but the other two time it failed. So, you know, it's, it's a mixed opinion. Let me know in the comments how you feel about it. And uh, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Because in this channel, we're going to come with more videos every single day. Have a wonderful day, guys.